is she not stunning? She absolutely is, no one can tell me she's not. Hi, welcome to today's video. I have a few Hourglass goodies sat in front of me. The main ones being the seven new lip liners from Hourglass. I am, so, oh, that was upside down. <laughs> I'm so excited to be trying these. They are the Shape and Sculpt lip liners. There are seven shades. They are, let me read you a little something, ultra cream and transfer resistant lip liner that finds shapes and sculpts soft matte color. I love a soft matte color. I love soft matte. I love matte. So I'm very excited for these. The, um, what are they called? The Phantom Glossy, the Phantom Glossy Balms are also having four new shades and I have two of them. And there are also going to be the new Cream Unlocked, sorry, there are, are already creams, matte unlocked lipsticks and i have one of the 12 shades that are being launched so there's a few different things to get into i am going to try and do the liners and the glossy balms and the lipstick all kind of together <sighs> let's get into it i think i'm just going to go in order of the lip liners so they're just labeled they have a name and then a number one to seven i think i'm going to start with those and then we'll just pop in a glossy balm or a lipstick along the way let's ah, let's get into it I've just had the Le Mer's lip mask on because I think these lips are going to be very dry once we're done. So starting with shade one, this is like a peachy nude. What is it? A warm beige. This is pretty much a warmer colour of my lip tone. So it's quite pale. Gliding on really nice. So I have four of the glossy lip, well I technically have six, two of which are the two, two of the four new ones, and these four are of the other range. So I may slip a couple of these in there as well, why not? This is shade Crave. This, yeah, Crave. This is, this was with Haze in a duo set for Christmas, and they are launching it as an extension now, as it was not available before, only in like the Christmas gift set. And this is stunning so it's just this like pinky is that not stunning is that not stunning so this is exposed number one and crave glossy balm and crave is number 140. Ah, i love it next up is shade two which says a warm pinky beige and another line that i didn't see earlier it says full coverage color that doesn't smudge feather or fade and it's infused with nourishing jojoba oil. So I thought I would mention that, but this is Flaunt. So this is Flaunt. I think this is very, very, very warm. And it says warm pinky beige. I would just say it's a warm beige, to be honest. I'm not really getting a lot of pink. And then I'm gonna take Haze very lightly. It's just this kind of terracotta shade and I'm just going to do a little just a tiny bit this shade probably isn't something I would wear personally I love cool tone and pink I'm not super bothered about warm tone or beige so this isn't a lip combo I would normally have but I like haze and I don't hate how it looks together I think they really complement each other but flaunt is probably not a shade I would be reaching for. But this is flaunt and haze. Next up we have tempt. This is a mid-tone pink beige. And I already know I'm going to love this one. Yeah, this is more my kind of colour. And the only thing that could make this better would be if it was extra cool tone. That is just the lip liner on its own. It is just seriously gorgeous. I already know what color I want to put this lip. And this is the second of the two shades that I have of the shade extension. This is shade Reveal. The other two shades are, I think they're called Wish and uh, Ruse. No, Rouse. Wish and Rouse. And this is Look at that. Look at that. By the way, this is number 90, reveal is 90, and Haze was 135. These are just stunning. 
I love the shade reveal, it is so stunning. It is just this beautiful mid pink. Oh, it's amazing. But so they're the two, I've now done the two glossy balms that are in the shade extension. So Crave was the first one, Haze was second, but that's already in the collection and Reveal is the second. I don't have Wish or Rouse, but if I have a picture, I will put them up. And then this was the third lip liner, shade Tempt. So let's move on. Shade four is Uncover. These are really quite creamy actually. This is a warm terracotta. Let's get Haze. I know you've already seen Haze, but it's just a good one. I mean, everyone has gone crazy for these lip balms, but they are stunning. But also, I have seen a couple of dupes, so NYX do one, I think it's NYX, the, is it the Fat Slick, is that what they're called? Fat Slick or, because they've got the Fat Oil, and is this called like the Fat Slick Click? I can't remember. And then there's obviously the Tarte Maracuja ones, Stan, I'm trying really hard not to mess up the foundation as I am doing a wear test this is the Laura Mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation and concealer it'll already be up if you want to take a look at the wear test and first impressions perfect moving on to number five number five is shade candid and is a true chestnut so all of them are pretty warm to be honest I would have loved some more cool tones A really nice dark brown shade very stunning I am actually gonna use rise I didn't think I was gonna be able to use rise or desire just because they're so pinky and cool tone but I think this is gonna be a really nice contrast between the two shades I mean that is just so stunning shade rise is probably one of my favorites it's just such a gorgeous kind of almost purpley let me show you rise is shade 100 by the way it's almost like a purpley brown very cool tone and it is just going so nicely with candid number five lip liner it does say all day wear and it says full coverage color that doesn't smudge feather or fade i think that probably means either on its own or with kind of the matte lipstick with the glossy balm it is movable kind of but I am pressing hard with a Q-tip. But I just thought it's something to note. Obviously, it might seem obvious that, you know, putting another product with the lip liner could change the consistency and change the longevity of it. But I just thought I'd point it out just in case. And then we have two more colours. We have Insight, which is a true red. And we have Silhouette, which is a deep red, almost like a burgundy. So we're going to do number six, Silhouette. Oh, this is very stunning. I'm just filling it in a little on the kind of outsides. I am going to put shade Entice in the middle. So this is shade Silhouette. Not my best liner job, so we're just going to move straight on. And this is shade Entice. This is after Rise. Rise is my top favourite, but Entice is my second favourite. And it is this juicy, juicy red. It's so nice. No one can tell me this isn't stunning. You can try, but I will not be listening. So this is shade Silhouette with shade Entice, which is shade 145. And finally, shade seven, which is Insight, a true red. Oh my God. That's stunning, that is so stunning. And now for the final lip product of the video. This is the Hourglass Unlocked Matte. This is the shade Red Zero. Yeah, Red Zero. And it is in this iconic 
packaging, but this is Red Zero. Oh, stunning. So a little different to the lip liner, interesting. I thought they were gonna match. Is she not stunning? She absolutely is, no one can tell me she's not. This is so beautiful. This is shade Red Zero from the Unlocked Mattes. Right now it doesn't feel super matte, but I have just had a lot of glossy balms on. Um, but the shade is stunning. But they're all the shades I had to try today. I absolutely love them. First impressions, well glossy balms aren't first impressions. I know and love them already. It was just a couple extra shades, which are so, so pretty. The lip liners, I think are really cool. It's 1.2 grams, so it's pretty standard size, which is great. Um, the seven shades, I'm just looking at the picture in front of me. I mean, it kind of feels like this four very soft nudie oranges, basically. And then a dark brown, a berry, and a red. So the first four just feel a little samey. I feel like it could have been switched up with maybe something cool tone, maybe something a bit more mauve. Maybe it's just because I love a cool tone, but they felt really nice. The pigment was good, they were creamy. So no complaints, to be honest. And then the unlocked matte lipstick. Not only is this shade stunning, it feels really good. It doesn't feel too matte. I like her, she's cute, the shade is banging, it felt really nice going on, maybe because I had the glossy balms on, everything's a bit hydrated, but she's done. In terms of long wear for the liners and the matte lipstick, I'd need to wear them a little bit more to kind of comment on that, but first impressions, everything feels very good. But that is going to be the end of the video, I really hope you enjoyed, if you did please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, it means so much to me. Anything you want to let me know down in the comments, are you going to pick up any of these, how do you feel about the glossy balms they've taken? the internet and TikTok and Instagram by Storm. They are viral baby, that's for sure. I would love to hear from you down in the comments. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.